Hi, and welcome to Midnight Monday Motivation. I'm your hostess, Tiffany R. Easley, and your SOAR strategist, where I teach you how to soar beyond the trauma of a diagnosis. I'm super excited to be with you tonight on this Midnight Monday Motivation. Let's hop right into it. Today, we are going to talk about becoming a person of influence becoming a person of influence. As you begin your week this week, you have been given an opportunity to accomplish something great. Many times in order for your greatness to be seen or heard, you must undergo transformation in your thoughts, your actions, and even your beliefs, which all of these make up your moral compass. Today, I want you to take a moment and think about how you're going to become a person of influence. Before we get started with today's points, I want to unwrap the definition of influence. Influence is defined as the power or the capacity of causing an effect in indirect or intangible ways. It also means to sway. Now, influence can be used for the detriment or the betterment of a person, place, or thing. So for today's discussion, I want you to understand we're talking about becoming a person of influence from a perspective of betterment of others, not the detriment of others. We believe that in order for you to become a person of influence or an influential person, you must possess four key traits. Number one, you must become love. Love has the power to change how we show up in life and in business. Love can transcend the power of darkness and divulge light. You need to become light. There is going to be an opportunity for you today to become light. Take that opportunity and become light. The next trait or trait number two is to become grateful. Possessing gratefulness is key for any person of influence. As a grateful person, you recognize what should have your focus each day and you begin each day expressing gratefulness for those. Being grateful allows you to focus on first things first. So today, take the opportunity to become grateful. Trait number three, become humble. Humility is so powerful and so necessary. Humility is attractive. When you are humble, you attract things such as grace, favor, and even strength. When you are humble, you understand that you do not deserve all that you have are all that you have access to, and you are willing to give it away in order to bless someone else. So when you are humble or you possess humility, you are willing to give so that you can receive. Not by ill will, but just from a stance of, it's better to give than to receive. And the final trait or trait number four is to become courageous. To become a person of influence, you have to have all of these traits and courageousness is important because you must be willing to stand up for what is right when no one else is standing. You must be willing to speak the truth when it's not the most popular thing to do. You must be willing to represent positivity when others are spewing negativity. You see, it is these four traits that really help us to become a person of influence for the betterment of others. Today is a great day for you to become. Make a decision to put into practice what it means to be a person of influence and become that person of influence today. I am Tiffany R. Easley, your SOAR strategist, teaching you how to soar beyond the trauma of a diagnosis. Connect with us on our website at tiffanyreasley.com 
or on all social media platforms, including YouTube at Tiffany R. Easley. Until next time, always, always, always continue to soar. Have an amazing day.